above all, what we want to do is we want to glorify God. We don't want to do this for, uh, for the glory of this church. We want to do this to glorify God. And this is a unique opportunity that God has put before us that we can glorify Him by sharing the good news with, with more and more people. As believers, we are called to follow the path that God has laid before us without question, without hesitation, being absolutely faithful to God's call in our lives. For over a century, our church family has committed itself to this belief, and He has blessed us richly. To us, listening to the Lord and responding to His call is the only course of action. Park Avenue has a long history in Denison, going back to about 100 years. A lot of people had the foresight and the vision to prepare a building for us that we could enjoy and that we could minister in and that we could glorify God in this place. The Park Avenue Church has again reached a pivotal and decisive point in our history. We must move forward. You have to look forward and that's what we, we want to be ready and equipped as best we can is to provide for, for the growth that we, we believe will come. In about 15 minutes, we're going to have to turn this uh, fellowship hall and meeting area into two different classrooms. And so, um, the building that we have uh, has been tremendous and it's enabled us to do a lot of things. But I also know that this congregation is a creative and, uh, and an inventive group that have all kind of wonderful ideas. It would just be wonderful to uh, be able to pursue some of those dreams and, uh, and not be held back because of a lack of space and resources. Countless prayers by our congregation have resulted in growth that has stretched our walls beyond their limits. But God's blessings are never ending. And for every answered prayer, we find a new person to serve, a new child to love, a new life to save. I believe we're growing as a church here at Park Avenue because, because there's a sense of love uh, that people are going to be accepted. It doesn't matter where they came from, that there is a, a sense of grace, that God is here. In response to this growth, the auditorium was recently expanded to make more room for our praise and worship together. With continued growth beyond that expansion, it is clear we must take the next step. This congregation has been so blessed in so many ways, and we have been blessed because we have allowed God to call us to take a step of faith, and uh, it's time for us to take another step. Because what we're building on is we're building on the steps that have gone before us, and we believe that our next step is to provide uh, an additional facility so that we can increase our ministries, we can have a greater spiritual impact uh, in Denison. With additional space, not only can we enhance our current programs, but we can embrace new opportunities to minister to our community. Some of the needs that I see are uh, spaces for classrooms. I mean, the, the children's ministry is very strong here. Uh, there's just some things that they can't do the lack of the facilities in the room and the space. And then the other is a fellowship area. We can't all get together for a fellowship in the same spot. And then we have to split the groups because uh, there's not enough space in a particular area. Different age groups who would like to uh, have a class, special interest of some type, is that uh, there's difficulty trying to provide for them. I know there's some classes now in, on Sunday mornings that are actually meeting in ministers' offices. The uh, young professionals, young families that are in their 20s, maybe early 30s, and really don't have a, a good place for them to meet. You invite somebody to come to class and there's nowhere for them to sit because your classroom's packed. And if you're not feeling comfortable when you come, you're not necessarily going to come back. We had a men's class back in the middle school room, and you put 30 men in a little old bitty small class like that, uh, they were sweating. There's no way to cool it. Our mission is to serve the Lord in all those ways, and, and if we don't have the room, then we're going to be handicapped in our service. The decision to move forward is not always easy, but we must respond. We must act. Doing nothing cannot be an option. But when we trust in the Lord, when we step out in faith, we believe that God will guide us as He guided those before us. And we believe that our actions of faith will be a blessing to those who follow in our footsteps. It's going to plant a little seed somewhere, and maybe five, ten years down the road, someone else is going to come along and add a little water to that, possibly. And that's going to take off. On October 14th, 
all of us will be asked to make a financial commitment to the future of our church. Our commitments will be over and above our regular giving so that we can continue our current ministries. The duration of the campaign will be three years, providing opportunities for creativity and generosity in our responses. When you begin considering your gift, remember the phrase, not equal gifts, but equal sacrifice. We can all share equally in determining what our personal gifts represent, and we will share equally in the knowledge that our faith and sacrifice now will be a blessing to someone else, someone we may already know, or maybe someone we will never meet. I believe that God expects us to, to move forward, not uh, stand still or certainly move backwards. The men who initially made the decision for us to build this facility were men of great faith. They did not depend on human effort. God knows our hearts and when we want to do it for Him, if that's what's in our heart here at Park Avenue, is that it will be successful. This congregation uh, loves their, their students and their, their children so much. They, they really want the best for them. They, but uh, it would be wonderful if our young people have a chance to serve and get to know uh, others in a different age group that they may not associate with as often. I believe that God will be glorified through this project by asking people to really search in their hearts and be good stewards of what God has given them. I believe that there are many people that are excited about this project. They want to see it happen because there's a, there, there's a sense of excitement in the air. There's a sense of God is doing something here. And so what we're doing now is not just for ourselves. It's not just for us, not just for our kids, but this is a, a gift to the future, a gift for people who come after us. And we need to see that responsibility uh, to continue that legacy. There are so many people who contributed money, contributed time, who uh, lived faithful lives provide us with this foundation. We need to keep building on that for the generations to come. With this in mind, we constantly pray for you, that our God may count you worthy of His calling, and that by His power He may fulfill every good purpose of yours and every act prompted by your faith.